Hi, my name is Odemi Pesu. Welcome to Alari Lifestyle, the official YouTube channel. I am the CEO of Alari Lifestyle and the author of Force of Nature, my book here. And I'm also an artist, so you can check out everything I do on www.alarilifestyle.com and that's where I sell lovely framed art prints and original paintings. But let me get straight to the meat of this video, okay? In today's video, I am talking to you all about how to publish your first book. Force of Nature, my first book, has gotten in bookstores across the US, Europe, Australia. I was invited this summer to go to Dallas to do a book signing, a meet and greet, like a celebrity. <laughs> And I recently was invited to give a book talk at my alma mater, Brown University, which you can watch that recording, I'm gonna link it here. And I think like writing this book and then furthermore being able to leverage it for other opportunities has changed my life and I want you to have that power too. I want you to have that power too and so that's why what I am sharing in this video, it's coming from a place of experience. I promise everything that I'm sharing with you as I write my second book right now is literally what I'm thinking about because it's been a couple of years since I sat down to write a book and like there's so much that I now know as a result of having had that first experience that initial you know journey so I feel like it's only fair it's only fair to pass that knowledge on so there's two main things that I want to drive home first because as long as you have these two elements straight you will write that book but like if you don't have these two things then it's gonna be kind of hard one you must be obsessed with the idea of writing the book okay like you need to actually kind of be like oh my gosh if I don't do this if I don't do this life will not feel complete what I wrote here was become so obsessed with an idea that you allow it to consume you for as long as it takes to get that message out into the world in the best way you can. I would definitely say allow it to consume you because otherwise it's not gonna feel worth it. Like I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Writing a book is kind of like writing a very, very, very long capstone or thesis. Yeah, it will take time, but that's why it helps to be obsessed. Okay, next. The second thing that is like super important, must have, before you like endeavor on this author journey is enlist a team to help you. It is a project and you will need support. How much help you need at each stage will depend on your experience in publishing, editing, and marketing. Even still, having a team to support you makes it easier. I don't think I would have been able to publish my book if I did not have a team. Like at every stage. I'm gonna make another video to follow up this one so make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it but that follow-up video will be about the three editors that every single author needs um, or at least like your first time you definitely need all three but um, having that team of editors and like designers and this and that through my publisher really really helped and so let's say you're self-publishing, I would say you better go get you a freelancer. <laughs> like hire people, but the things that you won't be able to do that maybe are not your strength as an author, it's okay. And that's why it is very important to have a team. Here are some other things that you need to have situated before you publish your first book. Have some way to consistently share your writing with an audience that actually reads it okay <laughs> so this one is gonna ruffle a few feathers because yes we are in the social media age meaning people think that writing an Instagram caption is enough skill to get you to write a book I've legit heard people say oh AI can write it I don't know if you've ever read anything completely written by AI but it's not very good like it's not good writing <laughs> you want to make sure that you have a portfolio of work because this is going to satisfy a few different things one you're gonna have early data about 
what your audience wants to read from you. You'll be able to get comfortable with certain themes and a certain style, a certain tone of voice. You'll be able to craft your voice as a writer and it's very hard to write a book if you don't already have your style situated. So I had a blog. Um, I started my blog in 2019 and I also had a Tumblr that I had had since like high school that I think about like over 2,000 people followed my blog on Tumblr. I took it very seriously. <laughs> I loved my Tumblr blog. It's no longer in existence, but good times. And then I also had my real blog, my website, and that's actually what got me noticed by a publisher and led me to the opportunity to publish my book. Publishing my blog and then furthermore sharing it in the social media environments where people were actually reading, that is very important. You trying to build a reader audience on TikTok may not be as efficient as maybe sharing your writing on LinkedIn. I'm not saying you can't do both, but I'm just saying like, before you publish your first book, you kind of want to be strategic about making sure that you have proof that there's an audience out there that wants to read what you're writing, okay? Because you're gonna be very disappointed if you put in all this work into a book and it doesn't sell anything. A blog shows consistency, it shows that you are dedicated to the craft, you know, and um, you're gonna need that if you're gonna write a book. Another thing I will say is that building that audience in advance is actually quite advantageous because when you are doing your pre-orders and your pre-sale and stuff, it's going to be that same audience that patronizes you. Keep that in mind, super important. The next thing I would say is do not rush the research phase. So that includes reaching out to subject matter experts, doing audience research as well. I wrote here that it will guide your book to fulfill a need and bring value. So I have a professional background in marketing and an academic background in international political economy. The research, the data, it matters. In marketing, the data matters. In econ, the data matters. And in writing your book, the data matters. What do I mean by that? When I was writing Force of Nature, because I was able to do a lot of research on African history, gender development, all of that stuff, I did research, elongated research on that throughout my undergraduate time and my master's at Brown. I poured all of that research into this book. So the thematic elements that I explored in this book, decolonization, gender rights in a post-colonial African environment, um, indigenous spirituality, a lot of this knowledge came from research I had done over a course of years. So that's why when people are like, oh my gosh, you dummy, you wrote your book so fast. No, babe. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> this book is a culmination of a lot of writing I had done over time. Now, I'm not saying you have to like take four years to do research for your book, or maybe you will. It kind of depends. But I'm just saying make sure that you have a grasp on what you're talking about before you write the book because then it's going to be able to bring the value that you want it to bring. The next thing I want to say is make time to write every day. A lot of people when they say oh i've been writing this book i've been working on this book but you know i haven't been able to finish and it's been years it's because they're not showing up to do it every single day most people who are experts in their field do it every day like they show up to the task every day and as an author you become an expert at what you're writing about and so you want to make sure that you're writing every day it gets you in a habit of just showing up and it will actually make it go faster. And if that sounds impossible to you, I have a book recommendation. I recently finished this book. Look at like all the little, the little tabs and stuff. Deep Work by Cal Newport does a great job of explaining how to go about deep work. And what is deep work? It's that work that requires you to use more of your intellectual capacity. He talks about how to go about doing that in a very distracted world. And he does have something that he says, which is quit social media. And I'm going to talk about that in another video. But I have had times where I have been off of Instagram for a long time. And when you're writing your book, if you feel like that's if 
if that's what you're being led to do, you might just have to do that. Okay, so the next thing that you need before you publish your first book, set a deadline for all the parts that you need to finish. Your publisher will do this for you, but you need to also have your own personal deadlines because your publisher will give you kind of like deadlines like spread over a period of time like maybe a few months but it's up to you to kind of break that down into smaller deadlines that you can actually show up to the last thing i want to say is stick to your message and what you're trying to say but <laughs> Be flexible with the outcome. Be flexible with what it turns into. I had all these ideas for the book and then when I started writing, guess what? Everything kept coming out as poetry. Like I'd be trying to write about like the history of women's leadership in Africa when I first started writing the book and then it would just turn into like, oh, my ancestors, this, this, this. like. That's what I knew. Okay, girl, let's just write poetry and see what happens internationally force of nature is making waves okay imagine if i hadn't been flexible to create what i knew this book needed to be and so those are pretty much all of the tips to think about have situated before you sit down and attempt this beautiful journey because i think writing a book has changed my life being an author has changed my life confidence wise spirituality wise when i wrote this book i was fresh out of grad school and that was back in 2021 is when i published in the summer of 2021 and so between then and now it's the end of 2023 so much has happened so much has happened and it is because of this book i've given lectures i've given workshops talks like it's just so cool. It gave me the confidence to even register my business. If you are in the process of writing a book and this video helped you, definitely give it a thumbs up and share with any other budding authors that you know in your life. And I am so excited to hear about all of your books, okay? 2024 is around the corner. You can write that book, okay? But just take heed to these tips, all right? And I will chat with you in the next one. Until then, mwah, mwah. Bisu, bisu. cheers, bye.